Hello guys, welcome back into the channel. So, I decided, since the game came out, I never really cared about my rating, to be honest. I just played the game because I enjoyed it. But for the first time since the game came out, I decided that I'm gonna put some uh, conscious effort into raising my driver rating. And the reason why <laughs> you're about to see uh, in this video. But long story short, um, one thing that I've noticed over over the, the, the past few months, um, I stopped playing the game, to be honest. Uh, if you follow the channel for a few years now, you know that I played the game since the game came out, but um, it, it, after a while, I kind of couldn't play the game anymore because the, the level of the players that play the game uh, got so high and it required so much effort uh, for me to enjoy the game that I just uh, I just didn't feel like like doing so. And as you're gonna see, <laughs> I'm gonna be pawned off. Um, <laughs> what, what can I say? So if you watch uh, one of the videos that I uploaded uh, a couple days ago, where I, where I the, the the video title is I've had enough. That's one of the races that I did that led me to to do that that questionable move from that video every single one of the races that i've done that day uh, was pretty much the same shit. Uh, someone would either punt me off on the first corner or they would follow me the entire race and at the very last moment or at the worst spot uh, in the track they would decide to to go for a move and just casually bump uh, bump my car so that I would go off the track because they know they can get away with it. That's the result of some of the, the tweaking that uh, Bolivian Digital did with the penalty system that kind of made the whole thing worse. And that's reflected in the quality of the racing these days. Like when, when the game came out, you had your rammers, you had uh, people messing you up, but the penalty system was there to cover you up. So. Whenever someone would try to do something like that in a race, the penalty system would kick in and penalize those, those people. These days, though, not so much. As you can see, this guy, <laughs> again, this guy messes up, bounces off the other car, I get caught in the middle, and I get a penalty. No penalty for the guy in front who had the, the direct contact with the car that ended up spinning, spinning out. So. This is one of the reasons why I want to raise my driver rating up to A because despite knowing that this the same thing happened uh, on higher rated, uh, higher rated lobbies, I know that at the very least people in higher rated lobbies know what they're doing, know that uh, they know where to overtake, uh, they know where to break, they know um, as you can see, I just messed up a car because the, the guy braked way too early. This guy is all over the place. He, he can't stick to his line. He edges me out wide here. So it's all this, this kind of small stuff that I want to avoid by trying to raise my driver rating up to a higher level so that I can be matched up against players who know what they're doing, who know where they're braking, who know where to overtake, who know where not to overtake that's i think the most important uh, skill that you that you can have in a racing game is when to not overtake well yeah that that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it but anyways i'm not going to show this entire race because the race pretty much dies out i managed to to climb up i think to fourth place in the end but it's not really worth it uh, showing the entire the entire race because it because it's a complete mess. So let's skip over to the actual race uh, that I want to show in the video. So I managed to set a high 145, which is just uh, uh, about a second slower than than the fastest times uh, of the top leaderboard in, in my region, which I consider to be pretty pretty good, especially considering my skill level in this game, which is definitely not high. Uh, I know that I'm fast in Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport. Um, I'm usually at the top of the leaderboards in that game, but in Gran Turismo Sport, I'm nowhere near the top of the leaderboard. So I consider this time that I set 145.905, uh, I think, 
to be pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. So that's gonna get me a second place uh, start, which is, uh, is very good. This game you absolutely need to uh, start at the front if you wanna have any chance of winning races. This guy uh, does what, what I deem to be correct. He maybe overshot his corner, but he backed out and let me go rather than just push his way through like most people would, would do in this lower lower rated lobbies so this race is gonna be uh, up to me and this guy in front Williams VR he's driving a Ferrari Italia 458 and I'm driving the Porsche 911 which is a car that I'm that I'm very comfortable with um, from what I could tell by looking at, at the leaderboards at least not today today the cars have changed quite a bit but when when I did this race I think it was yesterday or, or or was it today i don't remember when i did this race but um one thing that i noticed is that the, the cars that dominated the, the the top times in this track in this daily race uh, are the audi r8 and this porsche so the fact that i'm i feel comfortable driving this car uh, kind of suits me uh, really well and as you can see the Ferrari in front in first place uh, it's gonna have he's gonna uh, he's having a little bit of trouble keeping uh, his car under control the, I, I gotta be honest I, I haven't driven the Ferrari uh, for long enough to know um, whether it's good for this track and to be honest again uh, up until I started doing this daily race beat this week I had, not, I had actually never driven Autopolis online, I had only driven once when the track came out and that was it. I didn't even do the, the circuit experience, I decided to do it yeah, yesterday, so uh, that's when I, when I started, this week was officially when I started learning this track. So I don't know what cars are good around here, I don't know, I don't even know if the lines that I'm taking here are the faster ones or if there's something that I, that I could be doing differently to to maybe shave off a couple of tenths of my time but that's the line that i found and that's the line that i'm sticking with until i find uh, something faster um usually this this corner right here i usually uh, go i usually stick to the left but for some reason i couldn't i couldn't do that so i opened up quite a bit there which is gonna lose me a little bit of time and I'm doing my best not to push him over the edge because I want to see where this goes throughout the race. So when I, what, what I said a couple minutes ago about uh, higher rated lobbies uh, being filled up with mostly people who know what they're doing. One of the things that uh, you got to understand about uh, this game and any, any racing game in general uh, is that when you're following someone um, from up close like I am in this track not right now the, he, he managed to widen the gap quite a bit because I made a couple of mistakes over the, pre the previous two corners but uh, when, when you're following a car pretty close like I was a, a couple seconds ago you cannot break using your braking points like for example if you break at the 100 meter marker it's probably best if you break maybe at the, the 150 because you don't know where the person in front of you is breaking. If you're competing in higher rated lobbies like the, 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 the type of players that you usually see uh, in the GT World Tour like Igor Fraga, Koke Lopez, Mikhail Rizal, these guys, when you're racing against those guys, you can take the, the, the proper breaking points because you know exactly where each one of them is breaking because they know what they do. They are, they are at the top of their game. But when you're racing at the uh, lower rated lobbies, you cannot take your breaking points when you're following cars uh, up close because you're going to push them off the track. That's pretty much a guarantee. They're, they're probably going to break a little bit earlier than, than they're supposed to and that's gonna mess you up so I try to keep my distance I break a little bit before uh, before I'm where I'm supposed to be breaking just to be safe there are gonna be a couple of instances here I think it's coming up right now or maybe on the next lap I think it's on the next lap actually where um, I'm gonna 
misjudge a little bit of my breaking point and I'm gonna just tap him very slightly thankfully it's not gonna mess him up but you're gonna see that I'm getting ahead of myself here but so we're about to cross the line into the last lap and I, I'm seeing that this guy is all over the place despite uh, the fact that the, he managed to set a, a lap time that was faster than mine by a couple of tenths um, I see that uh, that might be one of those cases where you were just lucky enough to string it together and get a fast lap time just this once. It's not about consistency because I, I can pretty much tell that this guy doesn't have the consistency uh, to lap 145s every single lap. And to be honest, neither do I have this sort of consistency. As you can see by the, the lap, lap time on, on, on the right of the screen. So, I know my, my reasoning behind this, the reason why I'm saying this is that since I know that he's not consistent, over this last lap, I'm gonna try to push for a mistake. I'm gonna try to pressure him into making a mistake uh, right here. That, that's the, the part where I just tap him uh, very slightly, not enough to mess him up, thankfully, because I wasn't trying to mess him up. And we just kept going, business as usual, so that, that's okay. But um, <laughs> this section right here, uh, we take slightly diff different lines because I'm going to take the inside pretty close. And... I'm gonna open up and cut on the inside and he's gonna stick to to the right side I, I don't know if that's the the faster line but but yeah so we're coming up on the last section of track he opens up I take up on the inside he messes up because he tries to accelerate a little bit too hard there and that's gonna be <laughs> a last minute overtake so yeah that, that was pretty awesome to be honest I was pretty happy with the result I, I think it was a clean overtake and well you be the judge I, I don't think there was an uh anything i don't think i did anything wrong there i just went on the inside because i saw he uh, opened up a little bit and he ended up messing up because he, he was trying to get away from me by accelerating the car and of course when you accelerate mid corner your car is gonna understeer so <laughs> but yeah i was pretty pleased with this result let me know what you think of the race in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more GT Sport content, share the video with your friends and on your social media. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate the help. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.